Hello everybody, my name is Claudia and welcome back to my channel. My video for today is gonna be about books I regret buying. And disclaimer alert, if any of these books I'm about to mention are your favorite or you guys really enjoy it the wrong way because I know how it feels to like a book everybody hates. I'm glad that you enjoyed them. I wish I had enjoyed them just as much as you guys did, but that wasn't the case, unfortunately. So let's get into the video. So there's 12 books in total, and I separated them in piles of threes, books I've read, books I've started and didn't finish, and books I lost interest in reading. So I'm going to start with books I read. First book is... What Light by Jay Asher, which is also the author of 13 Reasons Why. I guess that's the reason why I picked up this book, which is ironic because I haven't even read 13 Reasons Why. But I saw the cover and it was so pretty. This book is about a girl named Sierra that lives in Oregon and she has a Christmas tree farm. So every winter she travels to California to sell her trees that she grew in Oregon. And I think that is probably the last winter they're going to do that so it's kind of bittersweet for her she's kind of like saying this is going to be the last time i go so i should really enjoy it and she meets this boy named kayla I really feel their love connection it just it wasn't strong and i guess that's what made me not like this book because it had a lot of potential but i just felt flat to next book i'm going to mention is a whole new world by liz braswell when I bought this book, it was when I was so into the Lunar Chronicles, which is um, fairy tales retelling by Marissa Meyer. So when I got this one and I saw that it was an Aladdin retelling, I was so excited because I love Aladdin. And the cover is so pretty, like it's Jasmine and then there's the palace and then the back is Aladdin. And right here it says, what if Aladdin had never found the lamp? That, that question sold me the book, but unfortunately it was terrible. So this book is about Aladdin who didn't get the lamp before Jafar does so Jafar gets the lamp first and it's about how he has to save everybody <laughs> and it could have been so good but it was so terrible and I think it's a series and I'm not gonna be finishing this series no sir no thank you next book is The Moon and More by Sarah Jessen I love Sarah Jessen so much like, so so much and in every book that she writes even if it's not my favorite I always like at least a part of the story or some situation the main character is in i did not like one bit of this book and it's so long it's like 500 pages and it was i hated it i hated it so much i don't even remember what it's about and i don't even want to remember what it's about so now i'm in the pile for books i started and did not finish and the first book i'm going to talk about is square root of summer by harpy rapture hoop good i don't even know if i pronounce it right and i don't even care I hated this book. I should have just not bought it. I mean, Square Root of Summer. It's obviously about math. I hate math. But this book was so confusing. I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's something about wormholes and math and you know, I didn't even begin to tell you what it's about. Like, I don't even have the slightest. And I think I got like halfway through the book and I was like, I was just forcing myself to read it. And I was like, why am I doing this? This makes me hate reading. So I just, I was like, no. Mm -mm. Bye bye. The next book is Last Year's Mistake by Gina Chiwaka. I don't think I pronounced that right. I got like 110 pages in this book, and you think by then you will like want to continue it. And I did not want to continue. I know it, I don't even remember what it was about. I think it was just about these two, a couple that dated and then they broke up, and then again in the future they they came across again and I love second rom second chance romances but this is so boring and the story it was just about oh they went to school and they talked about this it like nothing exciting happened and I was like bye bye <laughs> book is The List by Soy Bahan Vivian I'm sorry if I said that wrong I probably did but this book actually when I bookstore and I saw it and I was like, oh my god, it sounds so interesting. So it's about um, this high school where there's a list of the earliest freshmen, sophomore, juniors, seniors, and prettiest freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors. And it's how they have to cope with everybody, with them being on this list that everybody saw. And I thought, and I thought it had such a unique storyline and I was so excited to see how this story was going to go. But the story was complete crap and I hated it so much and 
No, I'm not going to be finishing this. The next book is Play Like Me by C. This year. This book is about a girl that feels invincible to everyone. Like she does, she's not very popular. Like she feels like she's not seen by her her family and her friends. She just feels like everybody just kind of doesn't know she exists until she meets this boy and I may actually give this book another chance but first right now I started reading it I think I started reading it in 2016 I continue reading it but maybe I'll give it another chance how mad it makes me that this book is in book alley for like 96 cents and I bought it for like seven dollars like oh my god I could have bought it something I actually wanted to read this book is The Loose Antlers by Carrie Firestone this book actually has a lot of good ratings on Goodreads and the story isn't bad. It's about a girl that I think her grandma is dying and they have this list to do before she, this list to do before she dies. The reason why I stopped reading this book is because the main character was such a bitch. Like she sees a guy with like a bald guy and she like instantly insults him. I hate characters like that. I just oh I just couldn't continue reading. But it's Tell Me Three Things by Julie Box bomb. Uh, I didn't say that. This right. book is about a girl named Jessie that moves to a complete different stage and to a complete different school. So she's a new girl and nobody really likes her until she decides she starts getting emails from an anonymous person that is like from her school but she doesn't know who he is just start communicating back and forth and I really don't know much after that because I stopped reading it and Maybe I'll give this book another chance, but for the time being, I have other things I want to read. Next category is the books that I lost interest in. Siren by Kiera Cass. So when I first saw this book, I was so excited when I read the back because it says, I've waited, I'd waited an entirety for this. I have waited all over again if I had to. I was meant to kiss this boy, designed to be held by him. All the careful posters I held melted away and I pulled him closer. We were stars, we were music, we were time. That sounds so nice and I was like oh and I got it out of the shelf but what really when I read the inside I really got interested because it's about a mermaid that falls in love with a human and hello I love the little mermaid so I was like hell yeah but not a lot of people like this book like everybody was saying this is one of her worst books and I don't know maybe I'll give it a chance. Book is 26 Kisses by Anna Michaels to tell you the truth this cover is hideous i don't even know why i bought it like ew so it's about a girl that wants to kiss 26 boys that each letter of their name starts with a different letter of the alphabet if that makes sense i don't even know why i bought this book it sounds like something i would have enjoyed like in middle school but i don't know i don't even know why i bought this i'm probably not gonna read this and the last book i have to show you is the last boy and girl in the world by sylvian vivian which is also the author of the list i have actually read another book from her and i, I don't remember what's it called i think it's called things we did we probably shouldn't have i think yeah things we did and i probably shouldn't have and i also did not enjoy that book so this makes me nervous. I know it's about when how the rain began to fall and then they started drowning and everybody drowns and it's just a last boy and girl and I thought it sounded pretty interesting but the ratings were terrible and after this book I was like I don't think I'm gonna read this book so I made it on this list. So thank you guys for watching books I regret buying like seriously like if I had all the money I spent on these books back, I would actually buy books I want to read. But sadly, I'm stuck with these. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys subscribe and see you next time. Bye!